Hey guys! So today I am going to show you guys how I like to wax at home. I only wax my arms, um, my armpits, and my legs. The Brazilian wax, I go get it done professionally because, let's be real, I cannot do it. I tried it one time and it was horrible. And I think I tried it way too early. It was like when I was learning how to wax, where I just kind of applied the wax down there and when it came time to rip it off, I didn't have the courage. So I just kept on yanking on my skin a little bit. And then I didn't know how to remove wax. And I don't know why I didn't think about Googling, like, how do you remove wax? I didn't think about it, but whatever. Um, now I know. Oil, you know, not hot water, Karen. So anyways, ever since then, I just decided, you know what? I'm going to stay off limits with waxing that particular area of my body i'd rather you know pay 40 bucks and touch up and you know get it done for um correctly and quickly so i'm going to show you the items and then i'll go ahead and explain a little bit more on alternatives of what you can use you're going to need the wax warmer you're going to need obviously the wax oh i'm not going to show you because it's going to fall but it's in there so it's pretty much melted. I have it at 80 Celsius, I guess that's what it is. You're also going to need, obviously, to prime your legs, your body, whatever, you have to remove all the oils from your skin. So this one I got at the Dollar Tree, and then I had purchased, like, the original one. But you can also get away with pretty much any uh, powder, even cornstarch, I presume, or, like, flour, you know. Whatever you have at home, use it if it's powder, of course. You are going to need some sticks. If I'm doing my mom's legs or a cousin's legs or whatever, I will either use a different wax or a different wax for the most part because I'm not about, you know, using one stick and applying and one stick and applying. I mean, I leave that to the girls that charge me $40, not me because, you know, you're trying to save money. After you wax, you might feel a little bit irritated. So... Um, you do want to use rapeseed oil. I know I have the big jug because this is, um, I just wanted to show you guys like what it looks like. When I went to go get the Brazilian wax, the lady said that, because I'm a chismosa and I like to ask a lot of questions. So I asked her like, what is the oil that you put on my body? And she said, grapeseed oil. That's the one that is the most similar to the oils that our body produces. So I took note of that. And I already have it at home, so that's the one that you want to use. This is just to, like to remove the excess wax and just kind of like moisture your skin. And then if you feel irritated, you use the witch hazel. And she also used this one. Um, and then this is the one that I had purchased when I went to go buy all my waxing supplies. It's the Clean and Easy Soup Aloe Vera Gel. This one. It's a green one. And it's like a little... Oh, there we go. It's like a little gel consistency. It smells like aloe vera. Obviously, you want to go ahead and use either the strips or the roll. I personally like to buy the rolls because I can kind of keep track of how large I want the pieces or how small, depending on the area that you're trying to wax. I'll go um, over that in a little bit with you guys. So you could lay something in the area just so that you don't get any wax on it. Or if you do get some wax spillage, um, you could just throw it away. No big deal. I normally use a newspaper because I know, I know, newspaper, like who gets that anymore? No one, huh? But we do for some weird reason. You could also use Amazon wrapping paper. This is the one that comes in the packages when I order Amazon items. Not the bubble, you know, the bubble ones too, but not the bubble ones. This is perfect. You could just kind of lay it out. Or in this case, which I am assuming a lot of you guys might have, is a sheet like this. So it could be, you know, like any sort of sheet. And you lay it out under or wherever you might be waxing. So if it's your arms, you know, just right below you. Or if it's your legs, right under your legs. Anywhere where it's possible that the wax might fall onto. That way, if it falls, no biggie. You can dispose of it. So something that you should probably keep in mind, which I always like to do, is exfoliate right before I wax. I like to use these exfoliating gloves. I think I got these at Forever 21. And they were like one dollar and then i also went to buy more on amazon because you could find everything on amazon or ebay they shouldn't be more than like 10 bucks for like three four pairs so they will go ahead and look for something like that and then i'll link it down below so you guys can go straight to the website and i'll have to struggle like i did when i first started you know okay so once you have all your items gathered up you want to 
First of all, heat the wax. So you heat the wax, and normally what I like to do while it's heating is go and exfoliate. I've just work it on my legs in circular motion. And now let me just talk to you guys a little bit about different items that you can use. And if you don't want to listen to this, just, you know. So this wax warmer, I bought it on eBay. It was around 20 to 25 bucks, I'm not sure. Um, and the reason why I bought this one is because, so I had mentioned how I went to go get wax professionally, right? So before that, I would use the Gigi wax warmer, and this was kind of like my holy grail until I found out this other wax. But this is the one that I was always using and that I would go buy at the stores close to me where they sell nail polish and stuff. They also have a lot of wax and everything for a really, really low price. So if you're in Orange County, I will... Um, I'll link the place down below and they sell really cheap wax I mean one tin of that was like seven bucks the um, the Gigi the, it's just cheaper you know than going to Sally I would not really buy it at Sally because it's kind of pricey so anyways I had that before but then when I went to go get waxed I was just me on you know again and I saw that the lady was using this uh, Bella kiss and it wasn't on there but I saw that she had thrown one away stop hear that anyways so when she was waxing me afterwards I wanted to see what kind she used because it it was pretty you know she took like 15 minutes and this is hair growth like like coarse that's embarrassing huh that particular hair is normally thick for whatever reason so the first time is obviously gonna be the coarsest of it all and then afterwards if you keep retouching it it's gonna um, weaken the hair follicle and it's just going to be way easier and the pain is going to be much 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 tolerable to the point where you're just going to be like ah i'm just going to go get groomed not not a big deal so anyways i was um looking at the one that she had so i kind of like sneaked over and i saw that she had thrown one in the trash and it was pointing up no i did not go digging i didn't go that far but i saw the label and it had bella kiss so right away i typed it on my phone pretty much Everything that she used on me, I went to go get it because if I see that a professional has it, not that I am a professional, it's items that they know work, you know. And so I went home and I researched it and yeah, I was able to buy it, but I had to buy the whole freaking box. I don't know, I don't remember if the, if they came on, on its own, like if you could buy them on its own, but I think it was cheaper for me to get the box and it was like 24 in the box. So I was like, what the hell, I'll just go ahead and get it. And then I ended up paying, I don't know how much for it, like six, six or seven bucks. So it was a better deal to buy the box than to buy them individually or just get two. And because I already knew that I really liked how the wax worked and it's so sparkly too, it's so pretty. So I just decided, what the heck, I'm just going to get the whole box. And pretty much I haven't used the GG ones or the Satin Smooth, which is this one. There's so many different types of waxes that I'm not even going to go into right now because it's just too much. And then I'm going to make the video super long, more than it already is. Um, so anyways, this is the wax and pretty much I'll open it for you guys. So this is what it looks like. Pop it like that and then you just open it kind of like a can. And then you can see, I'm not sure if you could see the sparkle. You probably can't see the sparkles, but when you apply it on your legs or on your arms, your body, whatever, um, you're going to see the sparkles. And it's so pretty. And the best thing about it is that it's so easy to remove. Or I have always been told never re-wax the same area. But with this one, you're able to. If you miss a hair or two, it's no big deal. You can go back and just apply the wax on it. It doesn't irritate the skin. A lot of people's legs get really really red mine did at first but they don't as much there's other kinds you know like I said the sat whoa the satin smooth this one's really really thick which I don't I don't like anymore and then the GG one that's the one that I used for a long long time I started with the microwavable one that you would have to leave like 30 seconds in the microwave or 45 seconds and I would burn myself and it was a whole mess so I started kind of like investing and I knew that what I invested was going to pay off. So it was that one. So the Gigi one. And then there's different types of Gigi. So I would use the all-purpose honey wax. I think that's the name of it. Um, and then I heard that for Brazilian. Because um, me and my sister-in-law would do each other's Brazilian wax. 
um, we would use that one and it was kind of painful so then we went ahead and got dark honey is the one that I would use for the Brazilian and then I bought the green tea and the like I don't know if there was like a lavender one so I bought those but then when I went to go get waxed professionally that's when I just kind of pushed everything aside and I do this now from now on I said you could use any sort of powder that you have at home or if you don't want to invest a lot you could go to the 99 cent store to the Dollar Tree you're gonna find it for the strips or rolls you can go ahead and use the muslin one or you can use the so there's different types of muslin there's this one it's unbleached and then this one is bleached and then there's also these um, strips they're kind of uh, like linen my least favorite I don't know if it was the brand but this one the muslin unbleached one it was so painful I feel like this one kind of grips a little bit more to the hair it sticks more and then when you rip it off it's not as painful as the other ones but I do use this one you know also like I have to finish them no la voy a tirar, la tengo que usar. I already invested money in it, so what else? So the sticks, these, there's many sizes. The main ones that I like to use are these. I got them, I believe, at Walmart. Walmart or Michaels? I think it was Walmart. And I didn't pay more than like three bucks for it. I got a big box for a really low rate. And I would recommend you buy them um, either on eBay, Amazon, like I said. I've gone to Sally's and it's pretty darn expensive. And... If you eat a lot of paletas at your house, you can use those. Just saying. Witch Hazel, this one's really cheap. Um, I got it at Walmart. It's an astringent to soothe um, oily, irritated, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. So that's what this is for. It's a liquid. It doesn't smell the best, but it does the job. It really soothes your skin. This one, if you're that type that likes it, then, you know. You might like it if you just kind of like rub it on and apply it as a gel until your legs are or arms or whatever are soothed and calm. And like I said, the oil, grapeseed oil. Ever since I went to get waxed, I started using the grapeseed instead of the, the olive oil. <laughs> now I want to cook. Instead of using the baby oil, you're just going to pour um, a certain amount in here. If you're a newbie at um, waxing, you're going to see a lot of excess wax. You might be thinking, well, if you bought this wax, why did you have to get another one instead of keeping the one that I have? Because that one does work fine still. Well, the tins for the Bella Kiss are a little bit bigger. So you can see the diameter of them. But this one is a smaller tin than this one. This is the Bella Kiss this is GG one. So that's the reason why I, have I like to set it all the way to the highest. I like to keep it between 60 and 80. So normally 70 is a good temperature to kind of get a good consistency of the wax because right now I have it at 80 and when you when you have it at 80 it's like liquid it's literally look parece tole like champurrado that's how it looks this is really it's really runny and I could normally work with this but it's easy to get messy so so sometimes if I have time I will go ahead and heat it up first and I like to just grab a little cotton round and pour oil and then I just clean it up because it could get messy and then it's gonna look dirty and you don't really want that or maybe you do but I personally don't and I normally clean it like twice a year wear comfortable clothing because you might get some drips of wax or powder or oil and if anybody has a question you guys can leave it down below and then I could try my best to answer it like I said I'm not certified or anything it's just something that I've been doing for a while on myself and on my mom and on a cousin or so thank you everybody for watching I hope it was somewhat informative and if you guys have any other techniques then also let me know thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time now I will go ahead and start the demo not i've been hibernating so i am really really due for a wax all right you're gonna need the heat the wax the wax oh my god you're gonna and then so yeah my novella or my tv show it falls no big and so where was i i'm off tangent let me go back
Oh, it's not that good, but my mom keeps it. So, anyways, <coughs> this is very soothing. I always forget something. Something. That's not what I wanted to say. Ay, me dolió. Okay, that's not gonna work. When you see it, you know, you don't cringe and think, ew, gross. <laughs>